the easiest way to activate an eSIM for the first time is to use our Android or iOS app. Unlike regular SIM cards that come hardwired for a specific operator, eSIMs need to download a small amount of data before they can be activated with your chosen operator. Your cell phone already has mobile data available, so we can conveniently use it to activate your eSIM. But this method is only possible with products that offer Wi-Fi. If your device does not, you can follow an alternative video where we first connect the device to an existing wired internet connection. This Chateau 5G R17AX has Wi-Fi, so we're good to go. First, you want to make sure you have the Microtik Pro app installed on your device. Then, you'll want to connect to Wi-Fi. The SSID should contain the word Microtik with a few characters from your MAC address. The Wi-Fi key will be on the label. Once connected, open up the app and make sure you have entered the correct login credentials. You'll find the admin password again on the label. The home screen of the app should contain a section called eSIM. It is important that you do the configuration through this section, as it is the only way you can make use of your cell phone's data. SIM slot setting will be displayed at the top, and you want to toggle to eSIM. The Microtik roaming profile should show up by default. It already comes pre-loaded. If you've paid for Microtik connectivity service, you could just use that. But you don't have to, of course. To add your operator, click on the plus button. You'll be prompted for the activation code. You can enter it manually or just use the QR scanner if your operator gave you a QR code. Then just click the Start Provisioning button. The necessary data will get downloaded and sent to the eSIM. After that is complete, you should see your newly configured and activated eSIM profile. That's it. You can now begin using your Microtik device just like you would normally if it had a regular SIM card.